Summit police have finished their internal review of how they responded to Saturday night's crash. KRCG 13's Garrett Berquist discussed the results of the review with the police chief this afternoon. He joins us now in the studio to explain the findings. A Holt Summit police officer was trying to stop Catherine Zaverall when the crash happened. Chief Kyle McIntyre says there was no way the officer could get there in time. The pursuit began here on the Highway AA overpass when McIntyre says an officer spotted Catherine Zaverall driving dangerously. He spotted her. She was traveling at a high rate of speed. He activated mercy lights, uh, turned around on her, turned the siren on. She had already turned onto the on-ramp at uh, State Road AA00 at that point. Police say Zaverall went the wrong way onto Highway 54. The officer went onto the correct side of the highway and tried to catch up. Well, typically what we'll try to do is get in a position where we're ahead of where the driver is, traveling in the right direction, We'll try to slow traffic down and intercept the person that's going the wrong way. An internal review found the officer followed that procedure, but it wasn't enough. He was never able to get even with her. He probably, the closest he got was probably a good 40 to 50 yards behind her. His decision to try to warn other traffic was the best thing he could do. And unfortunately, it didn't work out. Zaverall hit the car carrying Mariah McDaniel, Elizabeth Moses, and Megan Fowler head on. All four died at the scene. Anytime there's a loss of life, it's devastating to a community. Um, to me, this was something that didn't have to happen. McIntyre says his department is waiting for the highway patrol to finish its investigation of the crash. Once that happens, Holt Summit Police will review their pursuit policy to see if there's anything they can change.